And let me go right now to uh, Andre Cherney. He's the chairman of the Arizona Democratic Party. Andre, thanks for joining us. Give me a sense. How many seats did you guys figure you might have picked up under the commission? I'd love to know numbers. Could the party, your party, yeah. have really gained and gotten, say, four seats or even five out of this new deal? Well, here, here's the deal. Uh, right now in Arizona, out of the eight seats, you have four safe Republican seats, two safe Democratic seats, two competitive seats. Under the draft map the commission put forward, there'd be four safe Republican <laughs> seats, two safe Democratic seats, and three competitive seats. So a tiny step forward in terms of competitiveness. My sense is have as many 50-50 competitive districts as you can. That gives the voters a real choice. Oh, you're, you're with not me. What these I mean, that's in, a great in, thing. That's a great thing. Well, I'm absolutely. telling you, nothing drives me crazier than locked locked in seats by either party, because then all you have is a polarizing, where uh, the absolutely. only danger an incumbent faces, man or woman, is somebody further to the right or further to the left, yep. and therefore they always have to lean further right or lean further left, never compromise on anything for fear that some young person will come along and grab that seat from their outer reaches. Let's take a look at the editorial on your paper that, today, the Arizona Republic. Quote, Republicans raised genuine concerns about whether the redistricting commission violated the open meeting law, particularly in choosing a mapping consultant with ties to the Democratic Party. They should have let the legal investigation, which is underway, play out. So was there a real impeaching uh, factor here in the no. terms of the commissioner not having open hearings? The, the only way that the governor can move for impeachment and the Senate can vote for impeachment as they did is if there's a gross misconduct in office. This open meetings law is basically the equivalent of, of a speeding ticket. It's a minor administrative law. What these folks did is they uh, put forward charges about giving the commissioner any specifics on what she was accused of, did not give her any chance to present evidence or present evidence against her. There was no trial. There was no chance for her to speak up. And they convicted her of gross misconduct in office. She's an independent registered independent, a citizen volunteer, and they dragged her reputation through the mud and violated our state's constitution. You're at the Constitution Center tonight. This is going on in 21st century America, and they're acting like it's a banana republic in Central America. Uh, this is about the these folks not wanting competitive districts, not wanting districts where, as you said, people have to reach out, build a coalition, talk to independents, talk to moderates, talk I'm to people you. across party lines, and, and have bread and butter issues on the table, jobs, schools, crime, uh, instead of the kinds of things that drive our politics right now. President Obama's birth certificate, immigration, whatever riles up your partisan base. That's why our partisan politics uh, is so out of whack here in Arizona. We are a very closely divided state, almost closely divided well, between man. Democrats and Republicans. Okay. What they want is a stranglehold on power through gerrymandering. Okay, I was going to ask you, let me still ask you this. Do you think there's any pressure on Governor Brewer from the leaders of the Republican Party in Washington who are damned and determined to hold the House this next election? Oh, absolutely. We know uh, up front that the people in our congressional delegation, Congressman Quayle and others, Congressman Quayle's mother, uh, they were all calling Governor Brewer and saying that she has to call this special session. They were all calling the state legislators, and you had a lot of folks wow. in the state legislature doing something they knew was wrong to take this independent citizen volunteer and throw her out of office, accusing her of gross misconduct in office when she has done nothing anywhere close to that. Uh, and, and this is about really whether we're going to be a nation of laws, whether we're going to have competitive districts okay. that actually okay. give people the right to vote and the right to fair representation. That's what's at stake right now in Arizona, and I hope people get involved in this fight. Andre, I think you're going to run for senator someday. Thank you so much. Andre <laughs> Cherney for the Democratic Party out there by you, our passionate fellow. We love having you on. You sound like an honest man, too. Up next, anybody but Romney. Do conservatives hate Mick Romney?